Hello and welcome to our lesson on arithmetic series. Okay, so last class we talked about arithmetic sequence, which was an ordered group of numbers. An arithmetic series, take all those numbers and add them together. So that's the difference between a sequence and a series. Um, notice this is still arithmetic because we're adding one every time to go from each term. Okay, a um, little bit of history here. Over 200 years ago, Friedrich Gauss needed to add up the numbers 1 to 100. Okay, what he noticed was that 1 plus 100 is the same as 2 plus 99 is the same as 3 plus 98. So basically we end up with all of these are 101s. And if we think about it for a second, we're going to have 50 of them because we have 1, 2, 3, all the way to 50. So 101 times 50 gives us 5,050. Okay, so let's have a look at this guy here, number 2. So let's see, 2 plus 29 is going to be 31. 5 plus 26 is going to be 31. So that's two of those three of those, four of those, five of those. So we're going to end up with 31 times 5 is going to give us 155. Notice that we could have figured out how many of those were by counting up. There was 10 things. So another way to think about it would be 31 times half of 10 would give us 155. And if we were to pull out our calculators and just add 2 plus 5 plus 8 plus 11, we'd still get 155. Okay, let's have a look at this guy here. So that's going to be 22, 22, 22. And now, interestingly, our 11 in the middle there is half a 22. So we've actually got three, oops. three and a half, 22's, which equals 77. And again, see how slick this formula is. We can take our 22 and multiply it by a total of 7 divided in half. Okay, so it, notice it doesn't matter whether or not we have an odd or even number of terms. If it's an even, we'll have 10 divided by 2. Down here, if it's odd, we'll have 7 divided by 2. And we'll just multiply that by whatever our first plus last is. Okay, so notice we can just take that idea. The sum here is going to be the total divided by 2 times the first plus the last. And that formula will be given to you. Um, notice we can also combine yesterday's formula and today's formula and end up with this monster. Um, that will also be given to you. Notice you don't ever need to use this guy. You can always use um, these first two in order. Okay, so let's use the formula to figure out the first six terms here. So that's going to be T1, T2, T3, T4, T5 and T6. So the formula says I've got Sn equals n over 2 T1 plus Tn. So in our case, our n is going to equal 6 because we need that out the first six terms. Our first term is going to be negative 75. And our sixth term is going to be negative 45. So our S6 is going to be 6 over 2, negative 75 minus, or sorry, plus negative 45. So that's going to give us negative 360. And again, if we just add all six of those together, we'll see they add up to negative 360. Okay, uh, question five. Notice we could get this answer directly by using our jumbo monster formula from the first page. I would rather do it 
knowing that we've already got t1. We know that n equals 40, so we just need to figure out what t40 is. And that's quite easy. That's just going to be our first term, 5.5 .5 plus negative 2.5. So basically we're adding on 30 negative 2.5s, or sorry, 39 negative 2.5s to get us to T40, and that's going to give us negative 92. And now we have everything we need for the S40 formula that's easy to understand. So that's going to be half of the number of terms times the first term plus the last term. And that gives us negative 1730. Okay, let's have a look at question six. Um, they've given us a ton of information here, certainly enough that we can figure out, oops, that's over two, that we can figure out three of the four values in this equation to figure out the third, or to figure out the fourth. Okay, so let's use S20. One forty three and a third is the same as four thirty over three. plus 31 over 3. Okay, divide both sides by 10. And end up with 430 over 10, which is just 43. Oh, sorry. End up with 430 over 30, which is just 43 over 3. We got 43 over 3 equals T1 plus 31 over 3 minus 31 over 3 from both sides, and we end up with 12 over 3 equals 4. So the first three terms of our series are going to be 4, 4 and a third, and 4 and 2 thirds because our common difference is a third, so we just need to add a third every time. Um, notice we also could have used our formula from yesterday, because we've been given so much information. And this is probably easier. I just used the other one because today's lesson was on arithmetic series, so I figured we could use that formula. So let's use T20. So that's 31 over 3 equals T1 plus 19 over 3. We'll just subtract 19 over 3 from both sides. And we get 12 over 3, which is 4, which of course gives us that. Okay, and now a bit of an easy word problem. We got Alex wants to get in shape. So he's going to do 10 push-ups on the first day and two more on each day after that. So we want to find out how many push-ups he can do on the 50th day. So that means we need to figure out T50, which is going to be our original 10. And then we need to add basically 49 twos onto that. So on his 50th day, He's going to be doing 108 push-ups, which is quite a few push-ups. Okay, and after 50 days, how many total push-ups will he have done? So that means we'll be looking for S50, which is going to be half of 50 times the first plus the last. And that's going to give us 2950. So total over his 50-day push-up regime 
he is going to do 2,950 push-ups.